Hi, Bill Yannick here, your Connect CEO for today's episode of The Daily Grind. We're into our third week of this, so I'm probably about done doing this basic introduction to why we're doing this every day, but I'll, I'll do it one more time at least. We started The Daily Grind as a, an episodic show talking about Connects 2020, and then this little thing called COVID-19 took over all events, and the Connects team transitioned this into a daily interview format. We're here every day at one central, same link, same time, and we try and, and we can easily find uh, subject matter experts across the landscape of Connects. And we have one today from W Services Group, Deb Klepfer, who's with us. Hi, Deb. Welcome to the Daily Grind. Hi, Bill. Thanks for having me. We're excited to get a chance to, to talk to everyone at least this way. Yeah, well, she and, and Deb's coming to us from the Pacific Northwest and and they've had as much challenge on, on these issues as anyone else but for a little while. Uh, we'll end up, we'll ask Deb about her personal situation, how they're all tackling that. But as we focus in on COVID-19 and the, the theme for this week's uh, daily grind has been successful supplier partnerships. And very few are more successful than W Services Group. So Deb, what are your thoughts? Let's look at the beginning. And as we're in the middle of this, your thoughts on how you're approaching your partnerships on dealing with COVID-19? Well, I think it's, it's just important to continue to be subject matter experts for, for all of your partnerships out there because, you know, we're, we've all learned this along the way and uh, it changes often and it changes uh, very rapidly. And uh, it's a matter of staying on top of uh, accurate information and giving that information to all of all of our clients so that they can make better decisions uh, during this process as well. Good stuff. And, and as we move through this, so we, we want to talk a little bit about getting through this, but um, in planning maybe for the next step, if we do have limited reopenings, reopenings, what are your thoughts on now kind of preparing for the future, hopefully in 60 or 90 days, we're looking at a reopening of, of a lot of our facilities. What are your thoughts around that? Well, it's very important uh, when you look at reopening because um, for those that are out there, you really need to do some risk assessment within your, within your respective buildings. Uh, you need to look at, you know, do I need to make any engineering changes here? Do I, do I need to, you know, put up some additional uh, shields? so that it helps with social distancing uh, throughout a particular building or store? Uh, do I need, do I have adequate hand washing uh, stations available for, for all the people in my building? Um, have I trained them properly with all of the proactive measures that we've all been hearing about for the last month? You know, effective and frequent hand washing, um, not touching your face, um, you know, using, yeah using the, you know, personal protective equipment as needed. So that's, wow. you know, that's some of the stuff we see and, and you really have to look at your scopes of work. You know, your current cleaning and disinfecting um, is very different than it used to be. We used to just clean our buildings every day or at some frequency. Now we need to really look at, we need to clean and we need to disinfect and we need to focus on all of those high touch points so that we can, number one, keep transmission low amongst our employees, but also anyone entering our building, any visitors, any uh, customers coming to shop again once everything gets opened up. It's very important to assess those uh, scopes of work and make sure that you're doing everything you can to keep reducing the transmission. And don't you think, I, I know in, in our discussions over these three weeks of of daily grind episodes and other discussions, it's come out that um, at the beginning of this, we might've been doing like clean room, uh, like uh, software company clean room type <laughs> level of cleaning. And then you have what we had before COVID-19, but there's gonna be somewhere in the middle that allows people to actually conduct business and still keep it at a certain level. Do you have any thoughts about that? About that happy medium, I guess, between ultimate clean and what we did before COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, it's a matter of being uh, proactive versus reactive, really. Okay. I mean, you know, the proactive, the proactive measures are gonna be to place more emphasis on cleaning in general um, mm -hmm. that maybe we haven't in the past, um, and then to focus that cleaning on high touch points. 
you know, do I really need to clean the floor 10 times a day? No, I don't, unless I'm crawling on the floor. Mm -hmm. Because the, the most effective mode of transmission of these types of uh, organisms that cause diseases is through hands. And mm -hmm. so it's through touching a surface and touching your face. And, you know, you really have to kind of really readjust your approach to cleaning and really focus more on those high touch points. Um, that will, you know, keep a safer and healthier environment for everybody. Well, great advice and great input. I'm sure we'll be hearing more from Deb and W Services Group and all of our Connect supplier members as we navigate through this. So as we end on a personal level, I mentioned at the beginning of this, you're coming out of the Pacific Northwest. How, how have you been navigating this and how are you doing with the, the stay-at-home orders and all this quarantining? <laughs> Well, you know, I, I, I have to admit, it's been a real challenge for me. And uh, this is the longest I've ever been in my home for 10 years. Because uh, wow. I'm, I'm often traveling. And uh, so this is, this is quite an adjustment. It's a social adjustment for all of us, uh, especially all of us who are used to being out interacting with people every single day. So, but, you know, we're holding up our own. We're, we're safe, we're healthy, and, and, I, and I hope that the rest of the Connects membership can say the same um, so that they're all staying very safe and very healthy. And uh, you know, rest assured, we'll get, we'll get through this process. Awesome, Deb. Appreciate that. Ending on a, on a high note there, help, help, helping our morale. And uh, great input and feedback today. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in person in the not too distant future. And for our audience out there, thank you for joining us for today's episode of The Daily Grind. We're here every day. One central, same link. And don't forget to check out connectsfm.com. I think you'll see as a team, we're continuing to make sure that the COVID-19 and coronavirus issues and resources are front and center at our website with all the tools and resources that Connects can bring to you. That's it for today. Thank you for joining us.